And we start tonight with some groundbreaking technology at DIA, one of the first airports in the world to test artificial intelligence screening for employees. Good evening, glad you're with us tonight at 6. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Jessica Porter. Denver 7's Micah Smith talked with an aviation expert about the push for this new technology and what it means for you. <laughs> Laptop out of your bag, shoes off are repeated TSA commands as travelers go through security. But there's a new artificial intelligence technology being tested at Denver International Airport that could eliminate the need to do all of this. The Hexwave system by a company called Liberty Defense. It's very similar to the millimeter wave imaging machines, the body imagers that people at the checkpoint are used to going through, except in this case, you don't have to stop unless there's some sort of object that's been detected that requires further investigation. Nationally recognized aviation expert and MSU Denver professor Jeff Price says DIA is testing this technology on employees after TSA issued a mandate requiring airports to conduct additional airport worker screenings. And the Wall Street Journal reports this stems from criminal organizations recruiting airport workers for smuggling activities. Airports already conduct physical inspections on a random basis of airport employees. Uh, this would be next level stuff. But what does all of this mean for the everyday traveler just trying to get through the airport safely, especially as we head into a very busy holiday travel season? Price says for now, passengers won't see the technology in action. But if airports instead of TSA are in charge of additional screenings, new technology or not, passengers will see price increases. They're going to have to hire a lot of security personnel to do it, buy a lot of technology. All of that will drive up rates at the airport. It could drive up parking rates concessions, what people are paying for food. And Price says eventually the technology could be used on passengers, something passenger Chloe Lebekin is conflicted about. That's just another example of how AI is taking jobs away from people. But she says in this case, she sees an opportunity and a benefit. I think that would be a good, you know, maybe possibly there was a way to implement humans and AI so that we're not taking away jobs, but we're also keeping things safer for people. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith. Denver 7. And President Biden announced a new executive order this week to limit the risks of AI and also to try to harness its potential. To realize the promise of AI and avoid the risk, we need to govern this technology. The Biden administration says the order will require all AI developers to share results of their safety tests with the federal government before they are released to the public. Compel companies to notify the government if an AI model in development poses national security problems, uh, economic or health problems as well. Also ease immigration barriers for skilled workers to study and stay in the U.S., establish standards to prevent AI production of dangerous biological materials, and develop best practices to minimize the risk of AI displacing human workers.